there's no other place like it in the country. Madison's a truly unique place in, in a real lot of positive ways. It's geography. It's a pretty city, um, but it's not so big that you feel lost in it. It still has that bit of hometown feel. State Street always seemed kind of homegrown. It always seemed like it was these little shops. A lot of them were owned by local people. State Street's been essentially our main street connecting the capital to the campus for 150 years. The 100 block of State Street serves as an entrance to the main, downtown Main Street area to visitors. The proposal as it stands now is to demolish five buildings and to create a private plaza at the corner of Fairchild and Mifflin and a restaurant at the ground floor and then a four-story office building above. And so the idea is, is to upgrade the buildings but to keep that architectural context, not change it, uh, preserving the Castle and Doyle building which is a city designated landmark. It is to renew, renovate State Street to revitalize Fairchild and Mifflin Streets. The Block Foundation has been acquiring these properties for a number of years and so they haven't had tenants for a while. They have not been very well maintained over the years. Crouchies have been part of Madison for five generations. Uh, family arrived here in the 1860s and they've been involved in civic projects and community improvement for generations. I mean, these are two wonderful people who have been extraordinarily successful in their careers, made a lot of money. They've given back significant amounts of it to this community. I think it'd be more important to donate and say, we want to do something, but how can we work with the people in the area, in the city, to do something that everybody can be happy with, instead of, this is what I want. If everybody just rolled over and said, well, the Frouchies are giving us millions of dollars to do something in the city, and let's just accept what they're proposing, then I would feel a little uneasy about this whole process. While I don't think being wealthy means you should not have anybody giving you an, a different opinion. I, I mean, I think you have to, when it's changing a, a city landscape, you have to be able to listen. I've heard just personal attacks against them, which has distressed me terribly. People can be so nasty, but they are, and they have been through this whole process. Never have we said anything negative about the Fauci's through this whole process, never. I will not. I will not. We will never say anything negative about the Frouchies. Why go after people who, who want to do a really nice thing and want to do, really create something beautiful? It just makes no sense to me. I do not understand that part of it. It is a unique block and it's mostly intact. Uh, and there's very few of that in Madison. I mean, they look like they all are in need of some care. You know, they, they look kind of run down. The exteriors even look kind of run down. These buildings have some problems, but because of the workmanship when they were built, they've, you know, stood the test of time so far, and I'm sure they can last a lot longer. Please, please do not let these buildings continue to deteriorate. You need to do something. That's the time for the private sector to step forward and, and to do some things that they have the capability of doing. And here is another gift, if you will, by the Frouchies that will benefit downtown Madison. You know, that's what the Frouchy gift is all about. It's about making, helping to make Madison better. I don't know that I've ever heard of somebody taking their own money to buy buildings, their own money uh, to renovate those buildings, no tax financing, um, no government subsidies. Any profits that would be made from the businesses, the restaurant, would go to the Overture Center for its livelihood, for its sustainability. This was what they felt would have a lasting impact for the arts, that this would be something that would be kind of like creating an endowment. The Frouchies don't seem to get the etiquette of giving a gift. When you give a gift, you don't give somebody something that you want. You give something 
You give somebody something that you think they want. When is enough enough? When can we just say thanks? This is a prime opportunity for that foundation to do the right thing. If you've got the money to do the wrong thing, you've got money to do the right thing. Start Company Building is a handsome and solid building that is about 86 years old and could easily be rehabilitated and stand for another 100 plus years. David Stark said his family is okay with that building being pushed over. You know, I've never been in the building. I've no. never been in the building. Yeah, yeah no, I have not. Going to the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Yeah, and, and I say that, I guess, to, to demonstrate the fact that, you know, the connection to us is, is tenuous at best. And it's kind of sad that the Stark family has no interest in the building that their grandfather, his grandfather built. I think if people that have that personal connection to it don't even care, I don't know why some of us should care. You don't get old buildings back once you take them down. This proposal for a void for an empty space at the corner of Mifflin and Fairchild is against all understood principles of urban design. Here's a nice break in all the concrete to have trees, plants, and water feature. And as the mayor said to me when we met with them, he leaned across the table in his Paul Soglin intensity and said, you know, it's all about the view. If we let these get torn down because somebody has money and wants a better view, what's to say that the next block that won't happen and the next block? It baffles me how you can argue that an open, private garden and open space on the corner would be more attractive in December, January, February, March. It's really a space that's designed to be looked at and not experienced. And so from an urban planning standpoint, it's a disaster. I think Madison's general matter is, is open to new ideas, but we often are worried about the extent of change and a bit fearful of it. Everybody here can communicate. That's, that's what's huge about Madison. I love it. Madison, as a community, are, is filled with people who have something that they have to say about everything. I'm accustomed to the great debates we have here, and I think it's one of our strengths as a city. When you're dealing with something like this, you are dealing with the city and the people of the city. There has to be communication with the builders, the owners, the people, the workers, everybody. You, you just gotta, everybody can sit down at the table and bargain this and talk it out to see what's beneficial for everybody involved. It's very disappointing to me personally that our city leaders, city staff, commissioners have not come together to make this project work. And the process that we're working through engages people and encourages people to speak up uh, and that's the way it should be. I'm hearing a lot of support for it. I, when I go to these meetings, you know, I hear pretty much probably as many people against it as I hear for it. I call it a pause. Uh, it has not been withdrawn, but I think it's appropriate given the, the energy around the project in terms of the, the, the significant amount of comments that the sponsors think through what, what they want to do next. Sometimes you over-design, you need someone to tell you to step back a bit, get some of that stuff off of there, and you do it, you modify it, like, wow, that's a lot better. If I were the Frouchies at this stage of the game, you know, I'd be feeling, I'd be, I would have done exactly, I think, what they did, which is to step back away from this for a while. The Frouchies have already said, if we can't reach a compromise, we're going to stop this project and we'll sell the buildings. And it's come off as a threat. Uh, it's come off a little arrogant. Will it not happen? Maybe. What a shame. What a horrible shame. Millions of dollars of development in an area that really, really needs it won't happen. If, if they do decide to abandon this project, sell off the properties, we've got to be really careful uh, about what happens to those, to those properties going forward from this point. Cities need, I think, the new annual, because people appreciate both.